So if we're gonna have um, a generator interconnection with a mechanical interlock and an app-based system, let's say it's another 1500 bucks to do that, is it so worth it to you? It's Joel Wolzman, CEO and Master Electrician of Jefferson Electric, out here at this little 700 square foot garage off from Turning Point Family Worship Center. And De Jesus has called us out here. We've got some relational connection in the community. I'm not sure what it is, but they need a licensed electrician to get them across the finish line on this project. It's gonna be a food storage facility for their community pantry. And this is a depressed, part of town. I mean, this is like the epicenter of crime and poverty in Indianapolis right here. So uh, I'm gonna lock up our trucks every moment of the day. However, this would be a great project. We call this kind of little project bread and butter. Not only is it a good cause, but it's just basic electrical work. It'll be four to six grand all in with the utility service. So some coordination from the utility company required. Um, there's very low skill. This is a good job to put like a second year apprentice on leading so that they get experience. Do you know that the optimal form of education is comprised 10% of formal classroom, 20% by relationships, and the remaining 70%, the experts say, the remaining 70% of the optimal education equation comes from experience. So a second year apprentice on this project Beautiful. It's got utility of all kinds for the community and for Jefferson. Let's take a look. Okay, so this is good. Did you do all the framing? Yeah, me and my body, yeah. That's great. Okay, and this area will be uh, like a big walk-in freezer? Wood walk-in freezer. He said about 10 feet on the wall. Okay. Yeah, that's a good size. Is it going to have a condenser unit on top? On the roof? That's why he wants them. On that side, I want them on this side ah. to ventilation the air or something like that. That's okay. Like that nice. Do you have a spec sheet on this freezer? No. Any kind of data sheet? The, the thing is, he don't know which one he got to use. Mm -hmm. so he just come to see, he said, we can put a big freezer in here. Yeah. So I waited for him to see. He got, okay. I don't have any what power he need. Got it. I'm going to quote you kind of a standard. And I'll specify what that is. And if it's bigger, it'd be a little bit more money. Okay. But if it's smaller, I can save you a little bit of money too. So we'll, we'll give it a best guess, yes. wait for that decision to be made, and then we'll finalize it. Okay. Do you want to have separate utility service here? Separate utility meter? Yes. Oh, you're not trying to bring that power off the no. church? Okay. Oh, we can, whatever it is easy. Okay. Hmm. It's a little bit far. That's what Let's I'm just walk. Poles right here. We can pull it. That's just so nice. Okay, I think we could put an electrical service right here. Okay. Take the conduit up high and feed it off that pole, but I'd want to, because that pole's leaning mm -hmm. and it's got some deterioration, mm -hmm. I'd want to confirm and get with the utility company right away. Okay. Do you know if this garage shares an address with the church? Uh, you got on that. Okay. I'm going to go off this address that okay. is auto-populating in my app, okay. and I'll give that to the utility company, but there could be a pole number here too. Osmos 2020. That does not look like a 2020 pole to me. You don't see a tag anywhere, do you? You're gonna have a lot of food here. It'd be, is it at all interesting to you to have some kind of simple app-based system that would send somebody a text alert if power went out? Would that be of any use? So you guess, could yes. bring a generator over here and fire it up or something? Yes. You think, think that's, that's worth it? Yeah, that's worth it. So if we're going to have um, a generator interconnection with a mechanical interlock and an app-based system, let's say it's another 1500 bucks to do that. Is it so worth it to you? i got to talk to the owner. To okay. See, yes, I'll price something as yeah. kind of a rough budget, but then I need to figure out what system that is. Because mm -hmm. um, it would have to have a cellular connection to do that. But to me, it's better to do it now, you know, just in case the power went out. Yeah, I mean, you could have 10, 20, 30 grand in that freezer. Yeah, that's a good idea, man. I'm not thinking about that. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. If it's interesting for 1500, we can figure something out. Yes. When do you need us out here doing the wiring? Do you know yet? You gotta wait on the permit 
for the structural, probably. No, do, do, we do permit the thing. They just because they don't need a permit for this. They need a permit for the electric work. So they didn't stop you for structure. No, they stopped me. They they say I can finish it up, everything, but I can close it all the year before you guys get back to come and pack it. Got it. Yep. Okay. And so your timing for us, it needs to be all dried in. Mm -hmm. And if I, if the garage doors aren't in, somebody might come strip the wiring. So what's a good timing on that for you? Do you think two weeks, three weeks, four weeks? Okay, I'll probably have an estimate to you early next week. Okay. And then um, you let me know once you're ready. Yeah, I'll let But you it's know. just gotta be dry and safe. Okay. And if you have a lockbox code or if you're gonna meet us over here, let me know about that too. Okay. So we know how to get in. Okay. And, um, it might even be smart, you know, if the plan materializes a little, little bit more, yeah. if you take a Sharpie and mark everything. Okay. If you think we kind of have a finalized plan today, then I'll grab my Sharpie out and we'll just label where the outlets go yeah. and finalize that right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah we just need maybe two in there, two in there, four are good enough. Okay. The next step is to get in front of the computer and type this up. So the company cam, photos, placements, total clarity, the estimate completely lucid. The customer has to know exactly what we are delivering and exactly what we're not. Typically in construction, that's called inclusions and exclusions, right? We want it to be technically accurate while being easily understood by the customer. And that's difficult sometimes. Some people are completely illiterate when it comes to construction ease. Let's do that right now. Some contractors, when they roll up to a dirty job site like this, they just roll back out, right? They're looking for the money. You know what, every single one of these opportunities is a call to be faithful, and responsible, part of your community. That's my perspective on it. And so um, not every single job needs to be a slam dunk. My advice to you is this, share Electric Pro Academy with some of your nearest friends that are in the trade. Hopefully it can benefit them too. Leverage what we're doing here together and subscribe to Electric Pro Academy for real skills to make real money.